Sample, Statistic, Population, and Parameter, Part 2. For each of the following, determine whether the bolded value is a parameter or statistic, then give the correct notation for the quantity described and its value. The entire set of first-year students during the fall 16 semester at Cincinnati State had a mean high school cumulative GPA of 3.06. The key word here is entire, so we're talking about all of the first year students during the fall 16 semester at Cincinnati State. So that is a population. So this number is describing that population. So this is a parameter. Now this number is the mean, so the population mean symbol is mu. So we say that mu is equal to 3.06. Let's try another. A 2018 Pew research study found that 78 percent of respondents aged 18 to 24 use Snapchat daily. The 78 percent is describing the respondents to this study, this survey. So this is a sample. We're not talking about everyone. We're talking about the respondents from this study. So 78% would be a statistic. And since it's a sample proportion, a sample percentage, we use p hat for the symbol. We say p hat is equal to 78%, or you can write it as a decimal, 0 0.78. Next, the average age of members of the House of Representatives at the beginning of the 113th Congress was 57.0 years. The 57.0 is describing the average age of all the members in the House of Representatives. This is a population. Therefore 57.0 would be a parameter and because it is an average it is a mean again we use mu so mu would equal 57.0 years now in future videos when we start doing inference it's going to be important that we are able to pick out what numbers are parameters and what numbers are statistics and if those numbers are a mean or are they a proportion a researcher wants to estimate the average farm size in Kentucky. From a simple random sample of 40 farms, the researcher obtains a sample mean farm size of 131 acres. Because the 131 is describing the sample of 40 farms, this is a statistic. And because it is an average, it is a mean, we use X bar. So we would say X bar equals 131 acres. An energy official wants to estimate the average oil output per well in the United States. A random sample of 50 wells throughout the United States. The official obtains a sample mean of 10.7 barrels per day. The 10.7 is describing the mean coming from the sample of 50 wells so it is a statistic and again we will use X bar for the notation and we say X bar the sample mean is 10.7 barrels per day. In the 2019-20 academic year 91 percent of classes at University of Cincinnati had 50 or fewer students. The 91 percent is describing either a sample or a population and in this case we are describing all the classes at UC. So this is a parameter. It is measuring a population and because a 91 percent is a proportion we use P for the population proportion symbol. So P equals 91%. Next. A education official wants to estimate the proportion of adults aged 18 or older who have read at least one book during the previous year. 
a random sample of 1,006 adults aged 18 or older is obtained and 835 of those adults had read at least one book during the previous year. So these values are describing the sample. So out of this sample of 1,006, 835 of those did read a book. So that is coming from a sample. So this is a statistic and it's a proportion. So the sample proportion, the symbol, is p hat. So we say p hat is 835, that's our x, out of n, how many we had in the sample, 1006, and we get about 0 0.83 or about 83%. The International Dairy Food Association wants to estimate the average amount of calcium male teenagers consume. From a random sample of 50 male teenagers, the IDFA obtained a sample mean of 1,081 milligrams of calcium consumed. Well, this value 1,081 is describing the average for the sample of 50 teenagers. So that is a statistic, and we use X bar, so we say the sample mean is 1,081 milligrams. In a study conducted for the Journal of American Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, researchers ordered takeout from 123 restaurants from Boston, San Francisco, and Little Rock, Arkansas. These restaurant meals contained an average of 1,205 calories. Because the 1,005 calories is describing the sample, the 123 restaurants, this is a statistic and the sample mean is X bar. So we say X bar is equal to 1,005 calories. The average lifespan of 100 light bulbs tested from a certain factory was 1,180 hours. Because we are taking a sample of 100 light bulbs from the factory, this is a statistic and it is an average, therefore it's a mean, we use X bar. X bar equals 1,080 hours. According to the 2015 National Survey on Drug Use and Health, 86.4% of people aged 18 or older reported that they drank alcohol at some point in their life. Because this is a survey and not a census, this is a sample, and the 86.4% is describing that sample. It is a statistic, and the sample statistic symbol would be p hat. So we say that p hat is equal to 86.4% or you could write it as a decimal 0 0.864. Voter records show that 58% of eligible voters went to the polls during the 2016 election. Because we are talking about all the voters during the 2016 election, this is a population the 56% of voters is a proportion. It is describing the population, so this is a parameter, and the symbol for the population proportion is P. So we say P is equal to 58%. Thanks for watching.